The next thing I want to cover is the connections from the high-tech meat management laptop uh, to the laptop that's running the Gen 7 software and also to the wall plate behind me that goes into the office uh, for that high-tech meat management live connection. So we have two USB devices that we're going to plug into the high-tech high meat management laptop. One of them is going to be a USB to serial adapter that then we have come into uh, a nine pin serial adapter that goes to a stereo quarter inch jack. And that jack plugs in to the wall plate right here. The other device that we have out here, because the timer is in the office, we have our USB connect device that just has a USB B uh, going into the device on both ends and then a USB-A that plugs into the meat management laptop and also plugs into the Gen 7 software laptop. We do need to know which COM ports Windows is going to assign these devices. So we'll need to go into the device manager. If you don't know how to do that, just hit the window key and type D-E-V-I-C-E-M-A-N and that should give you enough that you can go up here and select device manager. It's gonna look a little different in Windows 10. Then we're gonna to wanna to come down to where it says Ports Common LPT. We have the prolific USB to serial port COM12, and that's what's going to the, the desktop computer for names. And then we have the USB serial port COM16 that's going through the USB connect device over to the Gen 7 control software. So now that we know those, we can go into HITECH's meat management program, go to run, select the session that we want to run and then we'll go to interfaces scoreboard genser pool one open close serial port for genser and that's just stands for generic serial uh, and then here we have serial com port for timer 16 and serial com port for generic serial uh, for the names select those appropriately hit ok and it only tests communication between the Gen 7 uh, laptop software and the high-tech software. It does not test between uh, the high-tech meat management laptop and the display computer. Once we have communications passed, we can go to interfaces, timer, CTS6 pool one, download events to CTS6, always select the default slot of eight and click okay. Right now it's writing the events over to the Gen 7 software. And inside the Gen 7 software, we have a banner that comes up that says, a new event sequence has been loaded from meat management software. Click OK. And in your uh, session tab here, you can see all the different events that you have uh, in that session. Good idea to make sure and go through those, make sure they are what you want them to be. Uh, once we have that correct, we can go back. You can also see all of the events that, that you have in your session by clicking this down arrow here, and it'll show you all the events that you have in this session. The only other thing we need to do at this point, we covered in a previous uh, session, and that was how to download the names at the display computer. So that's how to get high-tech connected to both the Gen 7 control laptop and to the display computer and how to download the events uh, to the Gen 7 control computer and uh, how to download the names to the computer.